I was fortunate enough to be in the embassy when the 20th century group began uh, in the middle of the 1980s, and Tadashi was at the very heart uh, of the organization uh, from that first uh, start in the 1980s. And I always think about Tadashi as having three characteristics. First of all, he was a global figure, uh, and that was one of the real benefits, I think, that we uh, secured from his participation, his direction of the 20th century group. He was a global figure. He figured uh, in a lot of different relationships which Japan had uh, with the outside world. Secondly, he was also a regional figure, uh, a man who was very focused upon Japan as an Asian power, Japan and its relationships with other countries in Asia. And finally, he was a liberal figure. He was driving always the wish to see uh, the discussions which we've had uh, at the 20th century uh, group um, in the direction of benefiting uh, a wider audience and ensuring greater openness uh, and greater um, enthusiasm uh, for the liberal trading relationship. We uh, have, I think, uh, an important influence upon the policies of the two governments. And I think one of the uh, strongest features uh, of the group uh, is the, uh, the, the, the drafting of a set of conclusions at the end of each meeting, which are then reported to the two governments, and to some extent, I hope, influence the way in which the two governments organize their foreign and domestic policies. Uh, I think that the, the sense of continuity and the enthusiasm that newcomers who are brought into the group, the sense of uh, enthusiasm that they feel uh, for participating, the keenness uh, of the participants to make contributions to the debate are very important. And finally, I think we should recognize that it was Tadashi who began that process. And we are inspired, I think, by the memory, not just of the man himself, but the way in which he saw a role for the 20th and now for the 21st century.